Good evening, everyone. It's later in the evening if you're on the East Coast. It's kind of mid-afternoon if you're on the West Coast. So good afternoon, good evening-ish. It's been a little while since I've done a webinar. So it, for those of you that are new, I'm the Executive Director here at the RAL National Association. My name is Molly. I'm here with Paula Mueller from Sociavi. I met Paula for the first time at a conference here in Arizona where I'm located with the Arizona Assisted Living Homes Association. And she was exploring this wonderful product that she's gonna tell you guys all about today that connects your families with the residents that are living in your care home. So it's a wonderful product. It's completely necessary. These are the things that you don't think about until you own a care home or you have somebody that lives in a care home and you're like, man, I wish it was easier to communicate with them. So it's a no brainer and it's a wonderful product. So I can't wait for her to describe it to you guys a little bit later. But if you have questions throughout the presentation, there is a questions tab on the right hand side in your control panel. In that questions tab, you can feel free to message during the presentation and I'll try and answer your questions as best I can. If it's troubleshooting as far as like you can't hear, there's an audio tab that you can try and negotiate through. Um, but otherwise, Paul is gonna answer questions regarding Sociavi at the end of the presentation. So you guys can log those in before if you think of it as she goes along and just know that we'll answer them at the end. Or I'll also give us a minute to have you guys type those in towards the end of the presentation too. So Paula, thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited for you to share what you have with everyone. So I'm gonna pass things over to you. Thank you so much, Molly. Yes, thank you for your generosity to making this available for, for me. Um, so I'm going to um, share my screen again. Uh, can you see my screen? Yeah, you're shared, you're ready to go. Oh, okay. Very good. For some reason, so for some reason, it, it, it showed my face all of a sudden. Okay, so um, welcome everyone. And I'm very happy to, to, to talk to all of you this uh, evening, like Molly said, late uh, afternoon in, on the East Coast. So, uh, so Shiavi is a, a Latin word that means share and unite. And, and I chose that uh, to be the name of the company and, and the product because that's what I wanted to achieve. I wanted that uh, really families and their loved ones in a very easy way connect to each other. So the mission of Sociavi is to build the simplest way for aging adults to connect and engage with their loved ones, providing peace of mind to their family members, to their families and caregivers. So connecting generations really made simple and globally because we know the challenges of aging in place. The families are spread out geographically. I myself I was born in Chile, living here in the US for over 20 years. And my family still is in Chile. Uh, my in-laws are in Switzerland. And as many of you, your families may be living in, in different states. That's the nature of how families evolve nowadays. And now what causes is that aging adults become isolated, depression. Uh, then we start observing that they don't take care of themselves so well. And that's what they take, you take care of them in your beautiful homes. And, and also you help them because they need to be compliant with medication. So what I built is it's a very, very simple tool that requires no login, no password, no username, no app to start. It's a dedicated device, as you see here. I hope you can see my mouse. It's a very large 13 inches screen that I will show you more detail later on. But that's the device, that's the communication device that the aging adult uh, uses and, and is placed in their residence. Uh, many of my families tell me, well, you know, my mom just got a flip phone, but with the arthritis, they cannot see, they cannot really use a flip phone. That's the simplest uh, communication divide that probably many people have heard about. Uh, and then with an iPad, with Zoom and pinning, the new apps are uh, an operating system upgrade. Well, it's very complicated for some aging adults to use. So my objective was to have this dedicated device that is so simple, that is all pre-configured and is ready for them always 
to, to, to connect with their family. And on the other hand, the families, we that already have our smartphone, well, I, I breached that link by the family members using um, a, an app on their mobile phone and the aging adults uses this dedicated device in their home. So it's very simple. Simplicity is the cornerstone of sociality. As you can see, the app can be installed on an iPhone uh, or an, uh, an Android phone. And then it's an app that you can use from anywhere, anytime, and just the family members download it and is ready to connect with their loved ones in, in their home. So as I was mentioning before, it's a 13 inches uh, screen. So it's, it's, it's really the size of a, a large um, I, a laptop screen and it's self hands-free. So it's self-standing, it has this, this shape that basically uh, in my experience, uh, when you are uh, talking with your loved one, uh, really they feel that you are there because it's so large being hands-free and the body language is remarkable, how they, they really uh, feel that, that you are there. And, and, and that's, uh, that's, that's the objective. Um, very simple to set up. The only thing that is needed is power and Wi-Fi, and it's one, two, three. You connect it to the power outlet. Uh, the very first time it requires uh, that you enter the password of the Wi-Fi. It's going to list the available Wi-Fi's in the uh, community. And you enter the password and that's it. It's pre-configured, ready to go, nothing else to, to do. And if there is a power outage, of course, the device will lose power. But then uh, when the power comes back, the device comes back again. You don't have to do anything. Don't configure Wi-Fi or anything again. Everything is just out of stock. Uh, as I was mentioning, the family members installed this app and, and the app have different capabilities. Not only uh, you can send photos that appear immediately on the screen, you can send videos that appear immediately on the screen. So for example, if you have someone that is feeling lonely, you can send a video that then it can be played over and over. Um, people with mild, cognitive impairment or initial portion of dementia, uh, if you use that video uh, to comfort them and basically um, allows them to be in touch with their family members when, when they cannot be together to, to basically calm them down. And we will talk a, a little bit more about uh, some of the, the features that will help those, those uh, residents uh, with a little bit of my cognitive impairment or, or, or Alzheimer's and dementia. But uh, very important, especially during this pandemic COVID, uh, my families extensively use the, this capability of video visit. And it could, of course, continue using it, but it was very important uh, when we, the, the visitations were very limited. And this allowed the family members and the residents to have a live face-to-face video visit and that's when i was mentioning about this uh movement this this uh, stand free hands free device really allows the uh, aging adult to feel that you are there in their home um, you have also the option of sending reminders and alerts so uh, doctor's appointment uh birthday reminders of birthday reminder reminder of of uh, special events you can also send them reminders and you can basically uh, see the, the rest of the family that are connected. Um, there are two roles, basically the person that is the, what we call the primary connector and then the regular family members. And they have a, a little bit of different functionality, but both of them can send photos, videos, and have these live face-to-face -face sociality visits. As you see, uh, you just press the button button in your app and you just show up on the screen. Uh, really, uh, there is this mode that you that, that we can configure for you that basically uh, the aging adult doesn't have to do absolutely anything. And when you touch the button on your app, video visit, you literally show up on the screen. And I must say, my in-laws in Switzerland, they when we visit them in this way, uh, they say thank you for 
visiting. Thank you for showing up. Not thank you for calling or thank you for the video call. Thank you for for showing up <laughs> because we we are just uh, the the devices in their living room and uh, where they are just um, sitting in the living room and all of a sudden we we show up on the screen and we start talking. <laughs> uh, so, uh, and this is the view from the app when you're talking, when you're having this sociable visit, live face-to-face -face visit with your loved one. Um, I was, as I was saying before, you can send photos, uh, graduations, um, special events, wedding, uh, and they show up immediately on the screen. And then always we're putting uh, the date and time for them to see. Uh, this is really the default mode. This, a slideshow of pictures. Uh, if the device is not being used for anything else, this is the default mode, the, the slideshow of pictures. And if you're setting some reminder, well, here is going to show the next reminder that is coming up. Uh, as I said, this is how it looks from the app when you are uh, setting up the reminders. And, and this is the, the whole uh, set of capabilities that you can have for communication. Now, in my journey of uh, uh, seeing how uh, aging adults live in the different settings, I realized that there is a, a significant percentage uh, with uh, that, that that are well, all of us uh, age is 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 a, is a great factor affecting the probability of developing Alzheimer's and dementia. So for that purpose. I started looking, what else can we do in order that we can provide meaningful engagement for aging adults? So we have two additional modules that can be used for your residents. One is what we, what we call the health and wellness program, and the other one is the brain fitness. And all of them are accessible from the touch screen, on, uh, or, or from the social touch screen. And what is the health and wellness? Basically, this is a personalized, personalized video library that we can set up for, for your residents. And for example, we can have a library of seven uh, exercises uh, that they can do videos exercises and one for every day. So you can encourage them to do a different routine every day. Or it can be um, a relaxation techniques. So it, it really, it, what it comes out to be is a personalized video library that we can set up for them. But what I wanted to focus your attention now is on the brain fitness. And this is where we have 16 categories, all of them accessible from, your, uh, from the touch screen uh, that allows them to engage uh, and stimulate um, your resident. Uh, if they have uh, Alzheimer's or dementia, the top, the top eight categories really are very soothing and stimulating activities for them. These, these are, are for, for your residents in memory, with memory care needs. Then we have also a category that is more traditional activities like jigsaw puzzles, solitaire, and war stages. And lastly, for your residents that are more active and really want to uh, be have you have their their brains working uh we develop this row of preventive preventative brain stimulation that uh, specifically for cognitive functions like attention processing speed cognitive flexibility and working memory so we are covering with this activity um, all the spectrum of your residents for them to be engaged in meaningful activities um, that on one side will be soothing and another one will challenge them and basically exercise their brain, which has been proven that uh, really it has an impact and can uh, delay the onset of, of dementia if you are constantly really stimulating your brain. So examples, uh, uh, this is one of the examples, one very remarkable and the simplest of all the activities for your uh, residents in, in memory care. Uh, and what happened is that you select activity, you have the option to select a template. It could be if they were um, in the military, probably the flag is something meaningful for them, or it could be that uh, they are um, 
basically they 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 like a, a dog or a horse or a cat and it doesn't matter you you select the, the, the template and then what it happens is that you come out with uh with a with a white screen and the activity that the aging adult has to do is just with their finger as they move the finger the picture underneath start revealing and that allows them to well it provides the, the surprise factor but also it allows them to reminisce and uh, i must say just sharing a story with you um or doing this activity with one one resident we had flowers roses and as she was revealing the roses she remembered that her husband used to bring her roses when her first child was born and that was remarkable just by this slow movement of revealing the picture um it was all the effect of, of reminiscence that that caused uh her to 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 engage in this in this meaningful way uh, another activity that we call is place the figure again we have 16 templates that they have they can choose for and the idea is that they creatively they they are the ones that decide what uh image on the top they are going to replace on the bubble. So here, for example, is the theme of making a sandwich. And what they are going to start thinking of, you, you engage them, these are activities, especially the top eight categories. Uh, you, you, you need to engage them. So these are a little bit of, uh, they need to be triggered. Uh, they can do everything by themselves, but they need a little bit of trigger at the beginning. And what I see is that, we can start talking about let's make a sandwich and then what happened is that they start placing the tomatoes here the cheese there and again it opens all the discussion uh, and the conversation and it's a meaningful activity to do with them that really if they are in an agitated state it allows you to revert and move them away from this agitated state and, and basically um, modify their behavior. And that's the objective of all of these activities. That is, a, 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 they provide the capabilities to engage them, reminisce, but also to, to mo modify uh, agitated behaviors that sometimes occur. Uh, this is another activity where uh, it's a match the number. Here we have I number coordination. And the objective is you select a template. And here, for example, we selected the template of celebrities. And they have to select the number and then match it with the correct number on the canvas. And as they do that, the different um, celebrities appear. And then they, they start um, remembering. A, a lady I remember uh, very much, she recognized Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. And she remembered all the, the the speech and and what was happening. So it's remarkable how these activities uh, doing the eye movement, the pattern marching co coordination uh, allows them to to reminisce. And 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 again, um, I'm I'm very very um, humble, uh, but 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 proud that these have caused so 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 meaningful engagement uh, with with the residents that have. That, that are using them. Uh, now we go with more traditional, as I said, word surges, and we have, uh, again, 16 different themes and, and different levels, uh, basically depending on, on, on the level of difficulty um, that we can select, and this is one of the more traditional activities. And now we go to the, the, the lower row where we have the brain fitness program and here we are uh, matching we, we're recording the time so the objective is that you match as quickly as possible the images on the left with the images on the right and we are really timing it so you can see the progress over time we can create reports for that this is the, another activity uh, very much to to work your, your to to exercise your working memory where you see uh, the word of a color, but it's painted in a different color. So you have to force your mind not to select the word that is written, but the color of the word. So in this case, it says brown, but really it's painted in black. So you have to select black. And here, red is painted in orange. So the correct answer is orange. So you see how 
really uh, forcing your brain to really think and, 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 and basically intercept that uh, the, uh, first reaction is what, what helps your brain to, to, to work that, that frontal lobe and that working memory. So these are all the activities that are part of accessible from, from the sociality touch screen. So we, we will share a, a video uh, with you through, through the uh, continuous, um, uh, is, uh, when, when Molly sent the, the replay, but, uh, but thank you so much. This is the, the whole presentation. I went very quickly, but I hope it was helpful to give you an overview of all this communication and engagement device and system that I have developed and, and with the objective of really keeping our aging adults engaged and connected with their loved ones for, for, for a long time. So if there is any question, Molly, um, I hope um, I, uh, you were all able to hear me properly and I'm, I'm, I'm here to yes. answer any questions. Yeah, absolutely. So there is one question that came in um, and I know this device is really need it's really necessary for just communicating. It's not necessarily something that's meant to be used for any kind of medical communication, but is this device HIPAA compliant? Have you talked, have you thought about that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, actually, yes, actually uh, it, uh, it, it, it is because uh, we don't have any personal identifiable information in the system. Uh, all the information is uh, securely, securely transit and, and addressed. And as I mentioned, we don't interface with the uh, medical records. So nothing, nothing of medical nature is in any part of the Okay. And um, did you talk about pricing? We haven't talked about pricing at all. Do you have a base pricing for this? Yes. So, yes. so all, 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 all the system, as it is, there is a uh, monthly fee, monthly fee uh, of, uh, of uh, plus 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 and you can see you the can pricing see the, uh, on, our on our website here, but Pay, but pay uh, uh, a year, year uh, 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 it, 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 it can discount. Okay, great. Well, it sounds uh, like a lot uh, of their questions will be answered by going to sociavi.com. There was a video that we were going to play tonight, but GoToWebinar is very silly with videos. So I'm going to send it out when I send this recording out. Um, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to reach out to Paula at info at sociavi.com or follow up with that email I send out tomorrow. And thank you so much, Paula, for being here with us tonight. Thank you so much thank for the so opportunity. For the opportunity. Um, I hope, uh, I hope uh, it was it helpful, was helpful for you as another resource, another resource for your resource And you can and consider you can also consider that, that, also that this, device this device can be used, can be used. Uh, as, as one or two units for the community and share. Uh, so, it, I mean, the family sometimes wants to have it for, for, for their loved ones as in their room itself. But uh, you can also consider it as a shared resource for the for the community. Absolutely. Well, everyone, you have a wonderful evening, Paula. Thank you. you Thank have you. A wonderful Thank evening you. as well. Thank you. Have a Thank good you. night. Have a good, good night. night. Thank, Thank you. So much. Bye. Bye.